Hey everybody, today we are going to try the Boss Dr. Rhythm DR3. So a little back history on this one. My, uh, my, this is actually my friend's and he, I said, he, he bought it and said, hey, look what I got. And I thought, oh, that's kind of cool. And then I asked if I could borrow it and I've now had it for... <sighs> Six, seven months and I've never really well I, I used it a bit to I had to learn a part on drums and so I actually programmed it into this so that I could practice the part that I needed the, the most work with and uh, that's how I did the drums that's how I learned that's how I learned how to play the drum part for it um, yeah so I thought I thought we'd just take a quick look at it and see what it can do it's it's kind of neat so let's look at this thing first off it has a hundred, I'm not sure if it has a hundred programmable, I think it has a hundred programmable, yes, it has a hundred programmable, as I'm running through them here, uh, types of music, and then it has a hundred user ones that you can make yourself, which is kind of cool. Now what I really like about it is, if let's, it, it does have a foot switch, it actually has a dual foot switch. I did not hook it up in this case. I haven't even tried it yet. I just, I know it has one, and I know the foot switches. The one will do the fills. The other one will will switch the verses for you. Um, it's nice. It's nice if you're if you're playing if you do using this as a live in, instrument and playing out like out out live somewhere, and this is your this is your main rhythm section. So that that is what this thing is designed for. We'll start with that. It's designed as a rhythm. It's designed as a complete rhythm package. So you have your bass, percussion, and your drums. So I'll just let's let's just I'll show you how some of it works. So you click start intro. So it's going through the song. You can switch. You can hit the fill. The well, make sure it's not too loud coming through the system. The nice thing about the way the the fill works is that as you can see it has a me has measured beats here so it's it's four four so it'll do four four of them then i'll go back so if i hit fill b now fill b is flashing once it's done the four four here it's now gone over to now it's doing the it's doing the second verse and you can do the same with this and you can tell it to stop after all that Now the other thing is, so like I said, you can, what's fun is you have all these different things. So like I can go, so I can do like funk rock. Let's try funk rock. So just, you can start anywhere you want to. Like you don't have to start it from there. Do a fill. Now if I switch it, this is even cooler. So it's got an arrow there. So now it'll switch to the second one. So now, now that that was kind of cool. I like that. Um, sound, shape, and ambience. I have. I really haven't played much with it. Now, if you if you switch from PTN to insert, it shows now that I'm on the drum pad. So if I hit it, and it's it's by how hard you hit it as well. I'm gonna turn that up a bit. Not in a great spot here because so I can change it. So I can change the drums. And it's 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 neat for that too. So you can switch. So I got drums, got percussion.
and bass. Now it does have two octaves in bass. There we go. So that's lower. Back to drum. And yeah, so you have different drum types. So let's talk about uh, setting up your own drum set here. So let, we go into the, we'll go back to PTN, even though I don't need it. We'll go to the U ones. So go to U2. So how did I start this again? Oh yeah, so I'll click edit. So it says style. So kit, from kit I can say enter, and I can pick which kit I want. So Big Funk Studio. I don't think you, you can't play it here to find out what it's like. Okay, you got to stop that because it's just going to do that. Loud, Power 2, Funk 1, Natural, Gospel. So let's go back. Exit. Let's go back to Style. Style has everything. So you got the tempo you want. So you can set your tempo. Set your beats. You can set your kit from here. So let's say I want a nice heavy funk drum. So I say enter. So then I go big funk is the so you can you can set two different drums too. I'll show you how to do what you can do with that. So make it something make it big. Mute, hi hats. Style is rock, that's fine. And you put the name in, so I'm just gonna call it. I'm just call it A. Enter. Oh, A. All right. So. Okay. So I go up. All right. So now I have in here. So now if I go insert drums. I think it's PTN kit. One of them switches the drum set, and I can't remember which one it is. Yeah, I can't remember how to change the drum set. So, but you can you can swap between the two drum sets if you'd like. sounds different so it is kind of neat and then I'll just show you a quick quick uh, how, how to make it so you can how you can play so now I go so a pointer and I say okay I want to do verse 1 so I click on verse verse a and turn these off so there so I say edit oh no not edit bad move Oh, it's running through it. That's the problem. Okay, so PT1 verse A. So now it's set. The pointer is on verse on the first verse. So I say stop record. Now what's neat is here's here's your drums. Here's what your drum thing looks like. So I can go kick space snare space. Now what I'm doing is I am putting in. So I'm just putting a kick and a snare, just for fun, just to show you what you can do. And I'm just going to fill in all four. Stop this, or stop, hit stop. Now I play A. So 
get the idea. Now let's say I want to add, so let's go back to here, if I want to add hi-hats. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four, open, one, two, three, four, oops. Ah, I can try to delete. So to delete you hit the, del you hold down that and you hit the button that you did, open. One, two, three, oops. Oops, now let's go over here. Open. Oh, they're off. Uh -huh. Look at that. Look how stupid I am. I know this is nothing fancy. Two, three, open. It's just to give you an idea how this thing works. There. So now, stop. Play it again. So versus. And that could actually be used for a song. That's kind of neat. Um, so that is that's all I've really done with this thing so far. Um, I am going to say that I am I'm going to go out of my comfort zone here. I am going to actually try to record a retro '80s techno song, and I'm going to I'm going to like vlog at what I what I've done. So that's. Uh, that's coming in the uh, probably next month. Going to start work on that and uh, going to end it with hopefully a video. We'll have to see. Um, so that's everything today. Like and subscribe, and I will talk to you later. Bye. Bye.